What's up, YouTube? It's me, KK Jeans, here with another Zelda Breath of the Wild walkthrough slash playthrough. And without further ado, let's get started. Here we are on Divine Beast Valrudania, and before we even go inside, we're going to come down here and get this chest. An ancient screw. All right, and now we are going to get up on its back because there's a, a couple of those malice eyes that we want to get rid of before we even start this thing because they are such a nuisance otherwise. Okay, there's one up here. Oh, I can't pull up my good bow. Too high. Him and him. Alright, so now we can go back and go inside. Now the doors are going to close behind us, shutting off all of the lights. The first thing we're going to do is get rid of these eyes. Yeah, that one's behind a closed door. So we've also, we've got these chests here. And now you can use that. It is a wooden weapon, and it will work to give you some light. We're going to need to light that. One of these chests also has a torch. There it is. I honestly rather have the torch than the wooden weapon. But we're going to have these guys right off the bat. Like just the one of them. And we've got a couple eyes in here that need shooting. If you can't see, you can come back in here with your torch. Get yourself some light. We're also going to need it because there's going to be another uh, thing that's got to be lit. Oh, we got another eye right here. Got another one there. Let's see what's in this chest. Yep. We can see now where we need to put the fire. So let's go grab our blue flame one more time. We're going to come back to this corner. Come right here to the Guidance Stone, place your Sheikah, and there we go. All right, now we have the Divine Beast controls, and you can see where all of the terminals are. Nice job getting the map of the Divine Beast. The terminals that control Rudania are noted by the glowing points on your map. To take back Rudania, 
You'll need to activate all of the terminals. You got this, little guy. All right, let there be light. All right, we're going to first go back to the first room because we've got a few chests. Oh, look at that. Get rid of this guy, too. Get these chests. So, in this first room, you're going to come back here. Just get a regular arrow. Get it lit with blue flame. And we're going to shoot it right through that little peephole. And that's going to open up the door. We're going to come back around. And we're going to set that on fire and stay out of the way because a metal box is going to come out of there. Now, we're going to need this, but first, we need to tilt him. Block our fire, and now we want to tilt him again. So that we can get at the terminal. And then activate it. There are four terminals remaining. That's the way. All right. Now we're going to come to this big metal door. We're going to first set that ablaze. It's a push to open, not a pull. First things first, set these on fire because there is going to be a chest that drops, so watch your head. Now it's a push to open, not a pull. <laughs> Alright, so we have another chest over here that I missed. Alright. Let's go ahead and tilt him over. And as that's going... We want to fly. Get on here. There are two terminals remaining. Just a little more. Put them back. Alright, so we want to go back in here. And we are going to tilt him again. We're going to climb up here. You'll notice that there is a chest here, so we're going to tilt him again. We're going to kind of follow... So let's tilt him back again and do the same thing. We want to be on here.
All right. Actually, tilt him back because we're going to need blue flame. So make sure you have your torch. Stand in it like I am, and then tilt him again. Now we're going to make our way all the way up. And then once we get outside, we want to tilt him again. Just like before, we want to follow it. We're going to light this. It's going to open that gate and allow that ball to fall through. And we're just going to kind of let that do its thing. And you can see a chest up there. And we have a terminal up here as well. So just be very careful because you see these are not solid. Ancient core. Very, very nice. Alright, we need to tilt him to get back off of here. But up here is right where we want to be anyway, because you might see it from now, but here is the terminal. Just one terminal remaining. Just one more. All right, so we want to get back inside now. Now we want to be in here, so get all the way into the room and tilt him. And now what we want to do is lift this up, let the ball through. Put it in its hole. And there we go. terminal now go ahead and start up the main control unit there should be a new glowing mark on your map you're gonna need to make your way over to that stay focused little guy all right now to get out of here we gotta tilt him back But to get to the top, where the main control unit is, we've got to tilt them again. Climb back up. And then, of course, tilt them again. Okay, here we go. Light Ganon. Watch yourself now. That ugly pain in the crack is Ganon's handiwork. Then got the best of me a hundred years ago. Good luck, little guy. Go get him. 
Alright, so first thing I'm gonna do is pause it. Because I need to get myself ready. Okay. I don't think that I have any attack up food. Or defense food, so okay. Nothing here that can help. So the weapon that I want to choose to use... This is terrible. But, okay. Guess we're gonna hit him with this. Watch out for that sword. First, he's gonna be swinging at us. We wanna try to parry it. Or backflip. And of course, that'll always headshot, or you know, give extra effect. Or stun him, is what I was trying to say. Oh, I didn't get out of the way in time. And I definitely do not have enough food for this. Now's your Not like that. Go for it. All right, he's about to do his halfway show. That flaming ball is dangerous. All right, so he's going to get crazy up here, and just like the Octorots. Stasis him. Ah, he got me. He missed, I missed, we all missed. Got him. He did not like that.
Make sure you get your heart container. All right, let's go check out. Once you activate the main control unit, you will not be able to re-enter the interior of this divine beast. Fine with me, I have no reason to be in here. Great work, little guy! I owe you big for this. Because of you, my spirit is finally free. Can't thank you enough. I feel like I should apologize. I was doing all I could to protect Hyrule when that thing got the best of me. Sorry that me wrestling with the rubble caused such a mess. The good news is, Ruthania is now back under our control. That means that our century-old Ganon beatdown plan can finally go into effect. I'm gonna take this down the mountain. I'll have a better shot at Ganon there. And then, once you've made your way into Hyrule Castle, we're gonna light that thing up. I wanna give you something. It's a special power of mine called Daruk's Protection. It's no good to me now that I'm a spirit, but it might be useful for you. Here it comes! <laughs> From this moment forth, the power of protection from the depths of my soul, now lives inside you. Good luck, little guy. And give my regards to the princess. Link is in the castle. Rutania will unleash an epic blast. Ganon won't know what hit him. Hyrule looks pretty good from up here. Even after a hundred years. The old rolling grounds sure are a sight for sore eyes. I wonder how the Gorons fared after the Great Calamity. I sure hope everyone down there is still going strong after every... Huh? Hey, look at that. Still going strong indeed. Ha!
Daruk's protection, a protective power containing the perfect defense of the champion Daruk. It will automatically protect you from all manner of attacks as long as you're holding the target button, the ZL. So as long as I pull out my shield, I am protected. And you can see in the little symbol, there are three of them. So if I get hit three times, I'm protected. But then, of course, I will have to wait for it to recharge. And that's where I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I had a lot of fun today. I hope you had as much fun as I did. And until next time, be sure to smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and punching that bell right in the face with your fist. So you're the first to know when new content is released. Thanks for watching.